Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya at Sidekick Crafts. You guys, today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be doing making some pokey tools. I have got some uh, swaps to do, and I know some of you have asked about my pokey tools and how I made them, and some of them I didn't make. Some of them were gifted to me, but I'd love to show you how they are made. Look, I have skulls in here. <laughs> I want to make some Halloween ones to give to some friends for swaps. And I thought, why not just, you know, I had the stuff out. I was actually fixing one that somebody else gave me. And I um, thought, let's just make some. So how many should I make? I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Let's make some Halloween ones. I've got, um, I didn't pick any orange beads out because I was hoping that these will fit. Now, one of the tricky things, these are actually um, lacers from Turkey or Roast Lacers. And they put this in there to hold it shut. They pin it, stick this into the meat, and then they tie it um, on either side. So that's why they call them lacers or whatever. I don't know what they're exactly what they're called, but yeah, turkey lacers. So these are a super inexpensive way to do this. I enjoy them because then you can clip something on here or put some fabric, a fabric bow on here or something like that. But you can also buy the ones intended for pokey tools by... Um, at, I know you can get them at Hobby Lobby and uh, probably other places too. Um, I wanted to, I, the, the tricky part is finding ones that will fit, finding beads that will fit sometimes on these can be a little bit tricky. And I haven't tried any of these out, so I'm just kind of playing and see what I can find. But I've got some, per, pulled my purple because I thought the purple would look pretty with, with here and green. I didn't pull orange because I thought that might throw it off too much. So black and purple. I've got these guys. I love these. These fit. I actually, I think they do. Yeah. Fit a little tight. I kind of like this one. I might want that one at the top. I don't know. Just kind of play with the configuration. See what you like. There's no rule to order. Just what, what suits your eye. And um, let's, let's, well, I started here. Let's start, let's start with this. Should put those there. Maybe put a smaller one here. And I was thinking about putting one of these skulls on here. I'm hoping they fit. Oh, they do. Look at that. Maybe we can put another. Let's see if I've got another one that size. Once they're on there, let's see if I can get another small one. Look how fun that is. Super cool, right? And then I like to put a bead down here where my fingers would go, just something to grab onto that's a little thicker than that little stick, because it's just, um, it's uh, too small to do that otherwise. And it's a great way to cap it off. Should we put a purple one down at the bottom? That kind of adds a little more color. I feel like if I put a purple one in there, I need one here too. So we'll pull this this way. Let's see if I can get another purple one up here and see how that works. So you can put this together and take it apart as many times as you want till you get something you really, really like. And then we're going to glue it together. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. There we go. How's that? Is that cute? And that gives us something to hold on to down here so that if we're poking and using the pokey tool end, then we've got a really solid something to hold on to. Now, how do you glue these together? Okay, so now that I've got the configuration I like, actually him up more. What if I stick him up here? Here's an idea. I'm just going to leave those right in order. What if I put this one here? Like that's his crown. Put this one underneath. This one here. Ooh, there's something maybe. Or put the black one underneath. Let's try that. And then we'll go this one. This one. No, I don't like that. That's too low. That's kind of weird. Um, what if I do it this way? 
this one. And then this one. This one. Maybe this one. And then this one. Do we like that? I think I like that better. Got the bigger ones up at the top, the smaller ones at the bottom, easier to hold on to. Okay, so now what do we do? We're gonna lay, take these all the way back off. <laughs> yep, let's keep them in order though, so we won't have to worry about it. And then you can use E6000. Now I um, went to the dollar store and got this one. I'm hoping it works just as well. It says it dries clear, which is important and extra strong. It's a multi-purpose cement. It should work the same as E6000. Um, again, I'm not sure how the quality is on this. Um, this is the first time I've used it today, so we're going to try it and see, but I would expect the same. And if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll get some E6000 and, and, and re-glue it. So we're just going to put a little bit around the base. We're going to kind of go up a little bit too on here so that when we slide the beads, it catches some of that glue inside there and um, so that it sticks. And we'll just kind of kind of roll this bead around a little bit so that it gets some of that in the inside. And we're going to push this up as far as we can. Then, let's do it again. So just a little bit. You don't want it too gooey in between because it's really messy. Oops, I got a roll away there. Let's catch that. This stuff does take a while to dry, so once it's on there, you don't want to mess with it too much. And if these don't catch too much in between, that's okay too, because as long as this one down here is, is glued really well, you're not going to need to worry too much about any movement or sliding on these up here, because that bottom one should hold it on pretty good. But I like to try to get them to stick as much as I can, uh, because when I'm using them, I don't like them to slip and slide. So this one was next. We'll just kind of smear that in there inside the bead. It's going to kind of goop up a little bit on that one, and that's okay. That's all right. Just don't want it gooping out too much because then it makes a mess. And if it does, just wipe it off. Wipe it off. These are super fun to make. Um, super simple, too, really. But like I said, I'm doing um, a couple of swaps. And then I have some racks to send out. And I thought this would be fun to include. And, yeah. I hope you guys are doing great. I, I have actually been offline for a couple days, just kind of wrapping my head around some things and trying to come up with a game plan. And mental health days, I guess. Needed it. Probably need a couple more, but here I am. I need to craft. It's important to me and I can't let that go, right? Sometimes when we feel like that, we need to grab onto those things that, that really bring us joy. And Crafting does that for me and being here and talking to you guys and hanging out with you guys brings me joy. So it's important. So on this very bottom one, like I was saying, I do want to add a little bit more around the base of this bead to catch the, the last one. That's going to help to keep that one on. So we'll kind of wrap this around. I hope I'm not been on screen, you guys. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, make sure that that's got plenty of glue on the inside and that this one gets glued to that one, that second one. I'm going to wipe this off and then we need to make sure that we secure this. So how do we do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. This is one that I like to use. Take one of these clamps. Now, you know that I've been holding this upwards the whole time to help gravity I'm just going to clip this right here, make sure that's nice and tight, and then we're just going to set it aside to dry. That's that. And like I said, it does take a while. We're talking hours here, so just set it and be patient. Don't mess with it. It'll be great. All right, next one. Let's do another. So let's see here. How about love to use this one. I think this hole is too, yeah, this hole is too small. There's no way that's going to fit in there. No way. Nope. So that one I can't use. Now this is a darker purple one. This is pretty. We could go really dark with this one. 
I got so many fun beads, you guys. It's like I end up forgetting what's in here sometimes. But a lot of the beads that I have won't work because they're too small. And that one doesn't. Well, actually it could. So we've got some more black ones that'll fit. Maybe something like this. Ooh. Gonna put that on there. That's kind of neat. We put another skull. Might as well use them up, right? And I could just reverse the pattern on this one, maybe. Find another one of those purples. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? There it is. I got something in my eyeball. All right, let's try another faceted. This one's a little smaller, and it's too small. want another one like this, but I don't think I have another one. I think it's the only lonely. Something similar. Got this thing. That's too off. It's too bright, huh? Oh, here's a tiny one. I wonder if it'll fit. Probably. Oops, that's not it. I grabbed something else. How about this one? Will it fit? Wouldn't that be awesome if it did? It would be perfect. And it doesn't. Oh, man. That stinks. Put a flat one in there somewhere. That one doesn't fit either. I think that's part of the challenge, though, is finding ones that work something small like this at the bottom. Of course it's too small too. Alright, let's see what we've got in this one. Oh, I've got some... See, these are pretty but they're different. The colors are so different. I guess it... I don't know if it matters. How much does it matter? It kind of matters a lot. This one's purples and blues. This one's greens and yellows. It's very different. Um... I think it's based on the color of the bead that it was put on with. See how different those colors are. Well, what could we do instead of that? Could put some more black and white ones. Could put something like this work. Nope. I don't want one of these because that's very... could put it up. Let's see here. How can I make this work? See, once you get them on here and, and choose the ones you like, that's kind of kind of the tricky part. Let's see if I could put... Let's put... Let's put this skull up on top more. And then see about did this to the last one too, didn't I? And I moved him up. I think I just like it up there at the top better. Something like this. Maybe we could put this one or switch those two. Something like that, maybe. I do like that. I feel like it needs another one of these up here though. Okay. Oh, I see another skull in there, so that'll be cool. I can use another one. I don't remember where these skull school ones came from. So they, they must have been gifted to me. Ooh. How's that? That's about as long as it can go because then it's going to go off the, the edge there. 
Do we like that one? Hmm. I still feel like he needs to be up here. I think it's good. I think I'm putting way too much thought into it. <laughs> I think I'm worrying way too much, don't you? All right, let's just do it. I think it's pretty. Okay, we'll put some glue around here. And again, we can decorate by hooking stuff onto that loop. It's a great way to use that loop. To add some other color or add, you know, Trina made me one and put Made by Trina on it. And I love that. We could put spooky. We could use beads to create a word like spooky or boo or that's probably what I'll do. Use some letter beads and, and create a little message up there, a little sentiment, and then use some ribbon. Maybe I'll splice the videos together and show you guys how to, how we did I do that later on. I'll show you the finished product. I'm kind of getting this video out a little bit late today. I um, spent some extra time just kind of laying around and it's my day off and just relaxing. Catching up on my thoughts and, and what have you and cuddling with my dog. Kids came home from Hawaii last night so glad they're home and safe. They had a wonderful time. <clears throat> had some amazing experiences and they said after about three days they were ready to come home <laughs> which I think is kind of funny um I had told Chloe you know it's like oh, a week I don't know I don't know what that's like you know I when I went on a cruise it was fun and everything but about three days into it I'm like all right I've seen everything I'm ready to go I was ready to go home and they felt the same way in Hawaii it's like okay we've we I, what else is there to do um but they enjoyed it, and that's that's what matters. I'm happy for them that they get that experience and have that time together. All right, so this is the one that's gonna hold everything on. This is the last bead. Let's make sure it's nice and gloopy. Make sure we've got lots of glue on the inside too, and there we go. Okay, I want him to be facing forward when that loop is there, so I kind of and flattening him out. Not that that's important, but I kind of like that idea. We'll go ahead and put another clip on this one and set it aside. And I gotta find room to set it aside. Boop, there we go. We can just put it right there, right there on a book. Oh, sip of coffee. Sorry about that. All right, let's. Um, I'd like to use this one. These are little um, earring backs. And those are put on the ends to keep them from poking you. I'd like to use this one if I can. I think it's beautiful. I wonder if I can use these. These are too small. Yep. Is this one too small? Is that the same one? That's the same one. And then I'd like to use, let's see her. I'd like something that's not quite so dark. These are too small. But I might do it anyway. I could do another one of these. These came off some jewelry. I love these. I think they're beautiful. We could put him on there. Him, her, it, he, she, they. I don't know.
potentially put another, I think, that, yeah, let's see, do we like that? Do we don't like that? Do we, don't we? Mm, nah. I think I'd like one of these guys here. And then him. No, we'll go here because I need to learn that lesson. I tend to like it up towards the top more. And then can we put some more colorful down here? Some more purple maybe? Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe some different purples. Faceted maybe. I kind of like that. Do we like that? I feel like it needs one more bead on the bottom. Let's put a black one and see how that works out. That. Mm, do I love it? I think I do. I think I love it. I keep picking these up and they're just too small. That one might work for something too. Ooh. Is it too big? Will it fit? The hole, I mean. I think the hole is too small. Yeah, it's too small, so I can't use that one. All right, let's go with this order. I like this. This reminds me of a crown somehow, so I kind of like it on top of his head. Ooh, it's going to roll away. Here, we'll put this one partially on here. go. Got a little too much. Kind of spread that around a little bit. If it gets to be too much, just wipe it off. too much again, but that's okay. This glue seems to be working just like E6000, so I'm confident it should stick pretty well. Like a little bit of hot glue or something on there. Oh shoot, I lost the order. Okay, I'm, I think it was this one was next. Was that one next? I think so. So we'll see how these turn out. Well, I want to put a little bit extra on this one. I forgot this is the last one, so let's put just a little extra. And it's got a little bit bigger hole on it too, so I want to make sure it's really glued well. Okay. Put that off of there, and we'll get another clip. Got a couple more clips here. Set that one aside. All right. Next up, let's do. That's one, two, three. Let's see if I have any more skulls in here. I think 
don't think I do. I do not. So this one can be, let's use these, or some of these, or at least one of them. Use one of these. They don't have to have skulls on them, of course. I mean, just because they're Halloween swaps doesn't mean it has to have a skull on it. Could use um, a purple. I'm digging the purples, though. That's kind of fun. We could use one of these in between. I like that idea. Maybe. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's put another one of those. That one's different. See, these are square and these are pokey. Let's see if we can keep them the same. Let's use the square ones because they are on purple based beads, it seems. This one doesn't want to fit. That one did, though. Why? Okay. No point in forcing it. I'm just going to end up hurting myself most likely. So let's see if I can find another one that has a little bit bigger hole. There we go. Now what? Now... Should we go with a black bead? Kind of thinking maybe a faceted one. We could put another square one of these guys on there. Maybe another faceted one. I haven't used my beads in so long. These are like all brand new to me. Like I don't even remember these beads. They're so pretty. Okay, let's see if I've got one more that can go on the bottom here. Or something different. Will this one be too small? Too small, probably. Way too small. And I'm sure that's too small, too. Yep, I've already tried that one. How about a purple one? Purple faceted? Something like that. I think the color is way too off. Let's see if I've got... Well, actually, it's kind of nice. It's different, but I like it. I've got some fabric ones in here, too, which would be kind of cool fabric beads. Maybe we'll put that on the next one. Got this too. That would be fun on that one. Let's go with this. Okay. I think it's nice to cap it with something different at the end. That's just my, my personal, personal preference. One of the reasons I like to make a bunch of these at once too is that once you open that E6000 or in this case this cement glue you may never get to use it again you know because they just uh, glue themselves shut <laughs> so I like to get the use out of them when I can and since I needed to fix the um, the one pokey tool that I had that somebody gifted me I figured I might as well make these too because they were on my to-do list do it all at the same time I mean, the bottle only cost me a dollar, dollar twenty-five, and and tax. So if I can't use it again, at least I got as much out of it as I could. There. There we go. Last but not least, this little cutie. 
Another thing you can do too, if you don't have like the skull, the skull beads, but you want something a little bit more themed, you could always put a charm, which is something I could do, up on the top on the loop. You know, you could hook a charm on there. That way they could take it, put it on during the Halloween season, take it off after that if they wanted to, or you could if you were keeping it yourself, whatever. But it could be removed and replaced if necessary. But I like that. That's really cute. Okay. There we go. There's that one. Let's do one more. Another taste of coffee there. Cold coffee. It's still hot here, you guys. Is it going to be cooling down anytime soon? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. I'm so ready for fall. So ready. All right. I don't know if I want this on there with it. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I wonder if, I think I'll put this lower, a little bit lower. There needs to be something in between there, I think. I'm not sure what. Ooh, here's a cool faceted one that doesn't fit. Darn, it's pretty cool too. One of these, but that's a totally different color too, huh? Does it matter? Not necessarily, but I got off the greens. I'm not even using them. Could do that. Do this. Do we like that on there? I think I like that one on there. Maybe this way. That one's too small. Do we like that? I feel like there needs to be a, a, a bigger bead up in here. Maybe a black, solid black one. Or something with some color on it. Yeah, that would be nice, maybe. How's that? Oops. Get the wrong ones in there. And then one more small faceted black one. Or do I have a small round one that work? Or purple. Something a little closer to that color though. Different color. That would be perfect if it was good enough. Maybe another faceted one. How's that? Do we like it? It's different with that one in the middle, huh? It kind of throws me off a little bit. But I like it. I like it. Let's do it. It's different for sure. There we go. Now that one probably won't glue in place because I did put a lot of glue in there, but it's a really wide opening so it may not stick to that surface real well, but I'm going to make sure it's stuck on there good with this next one. So it might spin, but it's not coming off, so that's the important part. There. There we go.
I could do this like all day long. How many more of these do I have? <laughs> I could use different, different colors and I guess we could do a traditional green and orange and purple and that'd be kind of fun too. I mean, there's no rules. I'm just picking colors and, and beads that, that I think look fun together. That's all. There's no rules at all. Put a little more glue on there, Tom. There we go. Make sure those two are stuck on real good. Okay, and I have another clip here. Push that down real good. There we go. I like it. I like it. I have one more of those clips. So let's make one more. Why not? Why not? All right. I didn't get any green or orange out though, so. We won't do that. Let's see if we could use some green on it. This is so pretty. I love this. Another piece of jewelry. I just kind of got dropped in there. <clears throat> All right. You know, green's my favorite color, but I'm just not feeling it. Although, will these work? These, these won't work. Oh, yeah, they will. No, they won't. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. We could do something like that. Look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Can I force this one back on there too? The other one worked. Maybe not. There we go. Look at that. Wow. That is pretty. I might keep this one. <laughs> Should I put purple on there? <clears throat> Look, that's lovely. That is lovely. Let's see if this one, this is one of the smaller ones, huh? I'm almost out of those black faceted ones that I fit. There's one. Wow. This one's got a little bit of plastic on the side. Let me see if I can trim that off with scissors or something. Let me see here. just a little rock. That's not even a bead. That's just a rock. Why is it? Nope, there's a tiny hole in it. This might actually be pretty hanging off of there. If I cut it shorter, maybe. That one fit? No, it's too small. That one's the same size. color. Hmm. How can I cap this one off? What's that one? Ooh, that's kind of neat. Will that fit? It will, but do I like it? I do. 
I like it. Do you guys like it? Probably needs a black one down here instead, but I think those black ones are too big. I wonder if these stone ones would fit. The lava? Nope, they're too small. Mm, that's too big. Let's do this. Okay. The other option would be a solid colored purple one. It's kind of throwing me off. That color? It's kind of too bright. This one? Nope. That one's probably too small. Yeah. I could put another one of those at the bottom, I guess. Should we do that instead? Like that. It's really pretty. Okay, let's do that. much up there. I've got another video I want to post today. I've got uh, some more cards that were sent in for the birthday challenge. I apologize. They are coming in a little late. I recorded it, but then realized I forgot to upload it. So, yeah, I'm going to upload that today. And I'm going to go to post office today. I've got some shipping to do and check my box, see if there's more there. I've gotten some emails from a couple of you saying that you are sending things in too, and I'm very excited about that. If you don't know about the birthday challenge, please check my uh, video description list and check it out. I'd love it if you could participate. I am donating cards this year to, instead of collecting for myself or any kind of things for a challenge, I wanted to give it all back. So I wanted to donate to Cards for Kindness through scrapbook.com. And so everything's going there. If you do participate, you will also get a card back. Um, from a fellow participant and some goodies from me. Probably be putting some stickers and handmade items in there in the envelopes. And there are prizes to win and you can see those in the original video. Well, yep, I talked about it. I haven't actually shown the video yet, so I need to record that too. Um, I'm still putting those packages together, you guys. I apologize. I know it's late in the in the game, but I'm still putting those packages together and I want them to be you know, worthwhile. So I'm trying to, to find lots of goodies to put in them and things that people might want. So I'll be recording that video too. But you've got till October 31st until Halloween to participate, so you've got plenty of time. It'll be going on for quite a while there. It's probably too long, but that's okay. I want to be able to uh, collect as many cards as I can and get them sent off. And that's my way of giving back this year for my birthday. So um, I hope you guys will give it a shot. Let's see. Let's get this gunk off of here. And close this up. That I have a couple more um, skewer thingies, but I don't have enough clips to hold them, hold them tight. So we're going to stop with that for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with some different ribbons and stuff. We'll come back and I'll, when these are dry, and show you how to add the decorative stuff onto there. Uh, and I'll be back in just a bit. Hi, guys. Okay. <clears throat> We've got, I've got them done. <laughs> Took me a while. I've been crafting a good portion of the afternoon now. I've got them all done. I didn't show you the process, didn't come back with the process because you know what? How boring is that? So. Basically, I tied some ribbon. I got this glittery 
tool ribbon from Dollar Tree and I cut it this way and made a piece of it and then just tied it onto here and then I gl hot glued some black velvet around that. This can be snipped off if it's in the way. I used a bulb pin and added some beads and charms to it for this one. I did them all just a little bit different. And then for this one, just got some little danglies on there. And this one I actually put a jump ring on, which can be easily removed if, want, if desired. These are all finished. I love them. I'm so excited how they turned out. Excited to be done with them. Here's one of the skulls with little crossbones on there. I got these bones from Target in these little jars for Halloween. And I just put a um, the little loop on there that you can glue on. And I used the uh, glue cement, the little cabochon thing. I just got these from probably Joann's or Hobby Lobby or something and just put those on there. And then this one, this one I had a little bow as well. So I put that one on there. I thought that was cute. I wonder if I have more of those bows. I'll have to look them up. And then I have this one. I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> I may actually end up keeping this one. This one has the fabric bead on it and I just, I love this one. So I think this one turned out super cute. They all turned out super cute. Anyways, I just wanted to come back and let you see them and see how they turned out. These are going off into uh, different swaps and things. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll be encouraged and inspired to create some and um, or do some Halloween crafting. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks again for spending time with me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I think I said that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.